their worst case scenarios. Today, Colorado Springs took a preemptive strike to prepare for real life emergencies. You may have seen some of the activity going on while the city did this uh, emergency pre preparations. It happened near Colorado Springs Airport. More than 900 people participated. It's new at 4:30. KRDO News Channel 13's Carl Winder shows us how Southern Colorado's first responders are preparing for the worst. Major incident. It's something emergency crews don't want to hear. Triage unit leader from Triage Team 3. We have obvious staff down here. We have no viable patients. Or C. Bodies scattered everywhere and a plane consumed by flames. This is as real life as you can get. For Colorado Springs Fire Captain David Whitwar, it got too real. You're not just reading a tag, but you're actually seeing the injuries. Even though it was a drill, Saving initial ambulance behind engine 11. First responders treated it as more than that. I try to like get involved in the moment and go into my medical mode and try to see if I can assist anyone that's injured. Emergency crews were put to the test and paramedics had to take actors playing injured people to five different hospitals around Colorado Springs, either through an ambulance Lieutenant A will be our transport unit. or helicopter. What we're going to do is uh, not just through our emergency department, but throughout the entire hospital, we're going to see and test our decision making, our logistics, our ability to transport patients, our ability to, to uh, make good decisions under pressure. Not only is this training important for emergency crews, it's also meant for organizations like the Salvation Army. In events like this, in crisis, people are usually in shock and they're not thinking about eating and keeping themselves sustained. And so that's really where we step in. Exercise control, exercise control. Even though this was only a drill, this exercise put all of Southern Colorado's resources to the test. LA! In Colorado Springs, Carl Winder, Cardio News Channel 13. Thank you, Carl. The next airplane crash exercise will happen in 2017.